Hey everybody, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on how I created this card. The three main products that I used was the Big Shot Embossing Mat. It's on page 222 of the 2018-2019 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. You get two silicone pads with this. One's thinner than the other and then a platform along with instructions. The other product is the Blizzard Thinlets on page 39 of the 2018 Holiday Catalog, and the sled from the Alpine Sports Thinlets die on page 11 of the Holiday Catalog. So I'm going to get started by bringing the big shot into the picture here, and I have the magnetic platform on my big shot and my two plates that come with the big shot. I'm going to actually cut this die. We need this for a mask on the project. So my cardstock is Whisper White cardstock cut at five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to place it down on my platform with the cutting side to the paper, put my clear plate on top and run this through. And when I run this through, I'm gonna go forward and then backwards. And then I'm going to look at the back of the die. I'm pretty sure it has not cut everything through and I'm right on that. I can see some dark gray spots, that's where it's cut, and these areas it has not cut. So I'm gonna place this over on the side and run it through again. Another tip that works well is to actually add a piece of cardstock underneath as a shim. This will help um, put some thickness to this and cut this through. So I'm gonna go forward and backwards one more time. And I can tell already that it has cut very well. That shim and turning it upside down has made a big difference. So what I'm going to do is set the Big Shot aside for right now. I'm going to grab a basket. This basket I've been collecting snowflake dies and snowflake cutouts. And so what I do is just take the Big Shot brush and go over the die, kind of lift, raise it in the air here. I'm not using the full mat that comes with it. And it releases all the pieces. And there are only a couple little circles that are left in there, but it's basically released all of them. And I have the mask that I need for my project. So I'm just gonna leave all these snowflakes in the basket. You can use those for different projects. And the next thing I'm going to do is bring the big shot back in the picture and utilize the platforms for the embossing mat. So I'm gonna put the standard platform down. Per the instructions that you get with the product, it tells you to put a clear plate down, tells you to put your cardstock, I'm sorry, you put your die down, cutting side up, your cardstock down, and whichever of the two mats you wanna use. I'm going to use the thinner of the two. And then you put the platform that comes with the embossing mat. The problem I have with this, I am blind to what's happening. If I just take this whole sandwich and turn this over, then I can visually see what's going on here. So I'm just gonna reverse this. My white cardstock is cut a quarter inch thinner than my die but the same length. So I wanna get make sure that that's on there right. It's gonna go through okay. And then I'm gonna put my clear plate down and then I can see what's happening while I run this through the Big Shot. So I'm gonna go and just go through one time and get the Big Shot out of the way now. And now when I take this off, you can see that the snowflakes are embossed right on my project paper. That's exactly what I wanted. If I use the thicker of the two pieces, it would have been a thicker embossing. And here's an example. In this example, it almost tears. It was just a bit too thick. So to keep going with the card, the reason I cut the mask out was I want these snowflakes to have some sparkle to them. So I'm going to place my card down, line up the mask right over the snowflakes, and new in this holiday catalog 
are the shimmer paints. There's four different colors. I'm going to use Champagne Mist. I'm going to take the Stampin' Up! Spritzer. You get two in a package. In here, I put some rubbing alcohol, not quite to the top. And then what you want to do is shake up your shimmer paint. And I'm going to drop a few drops in here. It can be three to five drops. And it's not going to hurt if it's a little bit more than that. But I'm just going to drop my paint in. Two, three, four. We got a little bit extra. That's okay. What's nice about this is it's going to add that pretty shimmer to our product project. And I'm just going to shake this up. The spritzers has our area it's going to spritz. Make sure you know what direction it's going. You don't want to put this pointing towards your face or anything else there. So we're going to spritz that. And I'm going to go straight top to bottom. And I'm going to spritz my project. And by doing this, I'm adding sparkle to my snowflakes. Can you see that on the camera? It's hard to see if it's showing up. But this was rubbing alcohol. It does need a little bit of time to dry. It doesn't need an awful lot of time, but to save some time so I can keep going with the project, I have one that I just did a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna grab that one. You need to make sure it dries well before you adhere it to your project. Um, so what I'm also gonna do is just eliminate this sheet of paper and then we can go forward with this. Before I adhere this, I want to add the ribbon. I am using the silver metallic edge to ribbon, and I like to leave my ribbon on the spool when I'm tying it. So the one on the right is gonna go over and under the ribbon on the left. I'm gonna hold that down, wrap the one that's at that 12 o'clock position over and under, hold the tails to the table, and that helps wrap that knot around. And then I can take my paper snips and just trim my excess. When I leave it on the spool, I typically just have a little bit of excess. Then I'm going to actually put this on our foiled edge cards and note cards that we have in the holiday catalog. You get 20 cards and 20 envelopes. They also come with the gold. So what I'm going to do is use my adhesive and I'm going to be sure that I apply it on all sides of this and a couple strips in the middle. I cut this piece to be the perfect size to place down. When I'm placing this down, I'm looking at two opposite corners, kitty corner, to line them up. If I line those two corners up, the rest of this should fall into place. Be sure you burnish this well so your adhesive stays there. All right, so I've already cut this out of the gold foil. This is the sled from the Alpine set, and I put mini dimensionals on here. What I'm gonna do is just take all the backings off of this, and this is gonna be applied right to the card. And I should have done this ahead of time to save some video time here, but I wanna show you the next tip that I have. So, um, there we go. So I'm gonna place this down. For the rope on the sled, we have a very thin silver thread. What I took was the metallic edge to ribbon and I cut off the edge. And that left me a little silver rope. What I'm gonna do is take and just make a little slip knot. Oops. Just a little knot, twist that and knot one end. And do the same for the other end, like so. Then I'm gonna take our mini glue dots. They come in a spool here. And I had, I did try this. If I take a whole mini glue dot, it's a bit too much. But if I cut a mini glue dot in half, and then in half again, so I'm just taking a quarter of it, roll it up a little bit, place it right 
where the rope should go. Then I can take this, place that right on top, do the same for the other side, and I have a little rope added to the sled and just stamped the Let It Snow, popped it up with a one and an eighth inch circle, punched, um, punched out with the silver foil. So that's the card and it has a beautiful matching envelopes. Hope you enjoyed this project.